It's not science fiction. Nightscope is using these robots to help secure your business. Will AI be the future of security? And can Nightscope really be the eyes and ears that keep your business safe? Sometimes you need to check in with closely held startups if you want to get a peek at the future of a given industry. That's why tonight we're going off the tape with Nightscope, the technology company that's trying to revolutionize the $500 billion security market. Nightscope makes what they call autonomous data machines, basically robots that patrol areas like corporate campuses, shopping malls, event venues, giving traditional security guards an extra set of eyes and ears. It's kind of something like out of Robocop, except without the accidental fatalities. Now, it's not just that Nightscope has come out with innovative hardware and software. They have a unique machine-as-a-service business model that's just like software as a service except with robots, dramatically reducing the upfront cost of using the company's technology. Now, while Nightscope is not yet publicly traded, they did recently do a so-called mini IPO in collaboration with Seed Invest. Remember, we, that's another startup we had on the show. So could this be the future of the security industry? Let's take a closer look with Bill Lees, the chairman and CEO of Nightscope, learn more about his company's incredible innovation. Mr. Lee, welcome to Mayor Money. Hey, Good to see you, sir. Thanks for having us, Jim. All right, crime, unfortunately, we know is a trillion dollar negative impact on the economy. What can your machine do? Every single year. Every year, it's right. It's a hidden tax we all pay in blood, tears, and treasure. So imagine if we can combine a set of hardware, software, and give every security guard superhuman capabilities. Right. What if they could read 300 license plates a minute? What if they could look at that image and say, wow, that's over 400 degrees, that's a high risk of a fire. Or that person was here yesterday, they were scoping the place, and then they came here the day before, and the day before, and the day before. Maybe I should let somebody know, right? And really smart eyes and ears for security guards to do their jobs much more effectively. All right, now I look at this piece of machinery, I think this must cost a fortune. Who can actually afford it? I look at your clients, Sacramento Kings, Juniper Networks, Microsoft, Westfield Malls. It's, there's some sort of payback that can be ascertained? So it's machine as a service, so everything's included. The hardware, the software, data storage, maintenance service, upgrades, some fancy decals that sometimes we put on the, on the machine. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe we can see that decal. Look at that. My kind of machine. <laughs> you know, maybe use it at home. And Go that's ahead. all in at seven bucks an hour. That's all? What does an average uh, a security policeman cost? So an off-duty law enforcement officer armed, probably $90 an hour, depending on where you live. Uh, a mall cop or security guard, plus or minus what you want him or her to do, is about $25 an hour. So clients that spend $50, $100, $150 million a year on security guards um, are looking to not only reduce costs, but increase their capabilities. But we understand uh, a couple of points. Safe to operate in large and crowded environments, but also will not eliminate human security. No, 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 no. This is intended to, again, give that security guard superhuman capabilities all at their fingertips. Okay. Uh, there's a, a big debate, Mark Benny. I've talked about it this morning on Squawk. Of course, our president Lex talking about it, which is putting people out of work because of machines. I mean, it sounds like that this would actually, because it's a trillion dollar negative every year, that it would actually save people a lot of money that they could actually use to hire people. All right, let's look at the macroeconomic. Okay. Uh, let's say, let's fast forward a decade or so, and we are able to prove that we could cut crime in half, literally in half. Right. Talk to me about the impact on housing prices. Talk to me about the impact on insurance rates. Oh, the geez. viability of someone's local right. business, the safety of your family. Like, it's a game-changing opportunity, mm -hmm. not only for our investors, but also for society at large. So for Westfield Malls, how do they use it now? So they're running 24-7 at the San Jose Mall uh, in California. Are these walking around, or are they stationary there? Uh, no, they're patrolling they're autonomously. Patrolling. So there's a lot of people working on self-driving cars and right. autonomous technology. We actually commercialize that as a kind of first mover advantage and have already operations in nearly a dozen locations so, across California. So this is filled with sensors. Uh, yes, yes. So and technology. I mean, it's semiconductors. It's 90 terabytes of data it creates a year. Oh, my. So we can analyze that for the monitoring surveillance part, right. but also to influence our navigation stack, kind of where the machine goes. Can it talk? What does it say? Anything? Uh, if you're polite, might have an attitude. You never know. Let's hear. Hmm. hmm. Silence. 
weren't well, too polite. That's all right. Well, if it, if it decides to speak up, we should let us know. <laughs> uh, I just want to be sure. Now, if a Microsoft uses it, that would be on campus, right? On that their corporate be... campus, yeah. Right. So our and... clients are corporate campuses, malls, hospitals, stadiums. Now we're looking at, obviously, airports, distribution facilities, oil, gas, solar farms, wind farms, et cetera. Last question. I know people are going to watch this, and they're going to say, I want to invest in Nightscope. Now, that's a little complicated, right? Because No, I, I, no? really okay. simple. Tell in me. 2017, uh, someone in their armchair right now can actually invest in Nightscope. Just go to nightscope.com, hit the uh, invest button, and off you go. Buy your preferred stock, and uh, you are now a shareholder in Nightscope. Really? Thank you so much. Hey, thanks for having us. Uh, just out. terrific. Okay, that's Bill Lees, the chairman and CEO of Nightscope. Any final words? Booyah! Stick with Kramer. Booyah! Jim Kramer here from Mad Money. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube. Click here to subscribe and get the jump on my exclusives with CEOs, plus market news, investing advice, and a whole lot more.